<laughs> Have your ad run on our live streaming episodes, linked in the video description and attached to our many hot take clips. The channel is fast growing with thousands of views and subscribers. Don't miss your chance to grow your business on one of the fastest growing platforms on YouTube. Join the family today. This might be risky. Email us at this might be risky at gmail.com if interested. Hashtag indeed. Hashtag do the right thing. masculine on a healthy level i've had uncles and cousins and the elders they what they teach you about manhood and masculinity is more so about how rough you are basically so all right kenny let me ask you is it is it is it toxic to be tough no because it's needed at some times is it toxic not to cry from physical pain no, because that's a human emotion. Is it toxic to be stoic? What does stoic mean? So, like, let's say things are happening around you that could be detrimental. Like, my son was just born, and it was the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, nigga got stuck. The nigga died on the table and all that. He, I mean, he back now, the nigga right here. But there's a lot of shit that was happening. Mm -hmm. But I stayed here, right? Stayed here what? Like, like how I am now, right? I was able to talk have conversations right not not overreact right even though inside that shit was bubbling right i wanted to mm -hmm. wrink that doctor's neck because it was a stupid decision right mm -hmm. but as a man if i don't stay even right how's my wife gonna react how's the family gonna react so on and so forth so that was me being stoic in that instance just to give an example yeah but that has nothing to do with what black men are taught though what you're saying is that is it no. is it okay for a, a black man to cry well, from a little kid, you're taught, stop crying. That's, that's that girl stuff. Don't cry. You are popped in the mouth for crying. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's and not cool to cry in the black community as a man. And the newer, the newer generation of women, they're like, I've been seeing a new generation of women are saying that it's unattractive to see their man cry. Whereas the older generation is like, oh my gosh, that is so heartwarming to see a man cry. You know what I'm saying? So mm. we are taught from kids that it's not mm. cool to cry. Yeah. With I'm the human emotion. That, and you you deem that toxic? I just wanted to get some clarity. That's very on much toxic point. because you're 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 pushing down a human. This is like human. Like forget well, male and female. Like you're a human being. Well, my point was also I said physical pain, so I just wanted to clarify. Yeah, it's hurt, cry, nigga. Okay. So, are you saying that black men are not human? Because I'm, if we cry, that doesn't, you know, I mean, make that make sense because we're human, but yet we're supposed, you know, we are deemed to be tough, and it's like I kind of agree with Adrian because you know you got to think about it. You know, we come from a survival of the fittest mentality. And I think that's what dude was trying to say in short, that hey, it's survival of the fittest. It's a is eat or be eat. And you don't see that as a problem? No. Um <laughs> no, because I, I mean we're I not mean, fucking animals. What are you talking about? We're not lions. Stop but, it. But in reality, as a man, that's just what it is. Like it's no you can't ignore that. Like you, know, you raise in the hood or not, it's either I don't care if you're in the hood or you're in the suburbs. It's either great or you're not gonna be the great. It's one of the two. You can't what? ignore that. It's no matter where you go, it's competition everywhere. I don't give a fuck. Being great in what we're talking about is two different things. How the different greatness have nothing, different. greatness have nothing to do with Man's levels, but it's still falling in the same category as like you said, eat or be eaten, right? Yeah, but the problem is, is that you shouldn't be in society where niggas is eating everybody. That's the problem. <laughs> then what you gonna do? You sit mean? there and suffer? Cry about the it. problem. The, the, the you fix the problem. Cry about it. <laughs> okay, the then problem. you fix. Okay, then if you gonna fix the problem, that means okay, I got a problem. I'm number two, but the problem is I want to be number one. So what you gonna do about it? You gonna sit there and cry? 
or you're going to do something to make change. Right. And if you got to make change, you know, in some instances, somebody may have to get hurt or somebody <laughs> is going to lose. What the hell I are you mean, talking look. about, nigga? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I'm, talking, I'm looking around to see what you're talking about because There's I can't. Not. All right, well, let's not let's not convolute the convo. Go ahead, Russell. I think the uh, what needs to be mentioned is that there's nothing wrong with being number two. You don't have to be number one in everything. Uh, you 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 may want to, you may strive for that, but it, it's not the end of the world if you are number two. It's not the end of the world if you're not number one percent. And I think it would be, uh, you know, you're, you're, if you do want to call it toxic, I don't, I don't know how I feel about the word yet, but if you do want to call it toxic, saying that you have to be number one at everything, that's not a healthy mindset. So I would consider that to be, you know, straddling the line of toxic. That if I'm going to do this, I got, I mean, I'm not saying you can't be successful and strive for greatness, but to, it's, you got to be realistic as well. So. That's basically saying that everybody's Hold entrepreneurs. On. Hold on, Ken. Everybody can't yeah. be there. Everybody Hold can't. On, this was the customs. But Russ, are you saying be okay being number two and don't go for number one, or you should still strive for number one? You can strive for number one, but I shouldn't like end my world if I ended up at number two. But do you need that? Are you saying should you be affected by being number two? No. To, depends. Depends on what it is. You know what I mean. Um, but it's like, you know, let's just call it professional. You know, if you want to be number one in your field, strive for that to be the best you can in your field. But someone's going to be better. Someone's going to be better. There's, there's literally only one number one in everything. There's only one number one. So, okay. and it's what, billions of niggas? Right. You know what I mean? So, I'm just saying, it, it, it's not realistic. Hmm. The question becomes, is you going to cry about it, though? <laughs> it's kind of, but, but you see, the thing is, what Terrence is saying, that is kind of the question, though. Yeah. Like, are you going to cry about it if you're number two? We are totally moving the goalposts. We are, we were talking about, we went from folks being sad about your child. Now we're talking about number one and number two. Like, niggas keep moving the goalposts. I think they're all essences of, of, of masculinity, but I think what I was trying to listen to my man, Mr. White, was I think it was a good delineation between toxic and then trying to define masculinity, too. Like, he just doesn't apply the word toxic when it comes to masculinity. But we talked about various levels of, of manhood, per se, in terms of, you know, different things like that. But I, I think... So my man Terrence, if me and my man Mr. White go through the same thing, we experience the same, let's can't refer to physical pain. He goes through and he doesn't cry. And I cry. What's the separation between the two of us? What's the difference? Does that make me less of a man because I, I expressed my pain and he didn't? Does that make him more of a man because he held his pain and I didn't? Yeah. I think that uh, by, by you crying, I think that um it's fine but society wise for you to cry to because of being number two people are going to call you soft other and, men and, other men in your community are going to call you soft and weak and pussy willows that's, right. and that's, toxic, that's, that's toxic masculinity that's toxic, you toxic would define that I, I okay and i and i don't i don't i don't disagree well, chief, i don't disagree with that though what happened chief, chief stay there though stay there right okay because because uh I like the question. So if I was answering, yes, he's more manly than you. If you ball out crying because you broke your finger or thumb or some shit like that. Okay. So let me let me just put a parallel on the situation. No disrespect, Mr. White. So now we both. I want to let said said respond. Go ahead, Pete. Go ahead, Chief. No, no. So we both we both had uh, a same a similar physical pain attached to us, right? I right. cry, I cry. He don't. Right. You just you just gave him the one up because he didn't cry, right? Yeah. We fight ten minutes later. I beat his ass. What happens now? Is back <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like, the, the levels of masculinity change now because I cried and I still whooped his ass. Like, in my and am I now more of a man because I cried and beat his ass? Yeah, or is probably. he or is he less of a man because he didn't cry and got beat up? If he take that ass whooping from not crying, he should have cried. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you don't think that's toxic? And you don't think that's toxic? A toxic way to, to look at it? Nah, I beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I'm what do you think? <laughs> Yo, check. can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. All right, All right. well, at the end of the day, ain't no such thing as no fucking test. 
toxic masculinity. Nigga can't even say it. Somebody yeah, no such shit. thing. You can't even pronounce it. Listen, Lord. listen. You right. I can't pronounce it because I don't give a fuck about it. That's just like black on black crime. That shit is non-existent. Mm. And yeah, I'm chopping. Break it down. Break it down. We can hear you fine. Man, yeah, it's, it, but it's choppy on my end. That's why it's it's uh on my end. It's sound is choppy. That's all it's it is. Obama internet delayed. All right. So see if you can get that right. Um, corn. Yeah, but said delayed, delayed like shit over here. Hold on. Yeah, said standpoint gotcha. is there no such thing as toxic masculinity. Um, he said his comparison was that just like how they um. Uh, socialize black on black crime. He might be because he might be saying it's proximity murder as opposed to like black on black crime. So it's like proximity crime. You do crime where you live at as opposed to just black people always doing other things to black people. Uh, maybe that was the point he was trying to make, but his internet fucking sucks. So, <laughs> um, corn, what you think? What's going on? What's going on? I just got my stuff together. I'm just getting in the conversation, so I don't know what's yeah. where we at. <laughs> so the, the, the question that's, that's scrolling. Um, the chief just came up with an example of if he gets hurt and cries and then Terrence gets the same hurt and doesn't cry is Terrence more manly so I said yes Terrence is then P then chief said now if we me and Terrence get in a fight and I beat his ass is he still more manly and then I said no so is there such thing as toxic masculinity um yeah, I definitely would say there is a such thing as toxic masculinity. Um, just to, from just a standpoint of just like you said, you know, um, I think especially especially on society nowadays, I think we we have a thing where um, there's certain stereotypes that a man should be in a role, man should be in. There's a stereotype women should be in. A man should fit this particular, especially in. I I, I would I hate to say you know even going from black and white, right? Even from black culture, I feel like is even different from when it comes to dealing with masculinity than white culture. A white culture, you can get away with a lot more stuff than we can in black culture, right? And so there's, I mean, you can be, I've heard people say, well, oh, you eat a hot dog, so you gay. Like, it can be just something just the weirdest stuff, and you're not as manly as this whatever person is because you don't fit whatever criteria that they see. Um, and a lot of it, too, has to do with, you know, um, I think a lot of um, I mean, I hate to say it. I'm about to say black women, honestly. I think they put that on us too a little bit too. Like, mm -hmm. we can't fit into who we are, we want to be because, you know, they have this this stereotype from their grandfather or their, their father or whatever. And the role of a man has changed from, from you know, I would even say the 80s to even from the 90s to now, you know. A man's role is not as the same way it was back then. So I think there's this and like I said, they other 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 uh, races as well. I don't say races, but I would say other like like I said, our our fellow black women or whatever. They they can put that on us. I mean, we put that on ourselves, but I feel like they can put that on us as well. So you, so let me let me get this. Let me ask you a question. You mm -hmm. take very large bites of hot dogs. <laughs> That's the only thing that you got out of what I just said. All right. Nah, cause, no, cause, that's the talking part because niggas gonna here, focus on here, 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 here's 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 why I ask that question. And niggas laugh because we could say the shit, we could nod, but niggas ain't taking a big ass bite of a hot dog. I don't give a fuck. And if, if we're saying that that's toxic, yeah, like, we are. We, are we saying us. are we saying are we saying that that's to like yeah, that's toxic. You could be you could be too mad. So wait, wait, we just wrote something clear. What's toxic? Taking the bite of the hot dog, or are you judging me for taking the bite of a hot dog? Him yeah. judging, the judging, the judging. I think. Okay. Nigga, want you to sit there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's. I don't know if I would define that as toxic. It may. It may make some. Some. It may make some men. Who might have a little homophobia uncomfortable but i don't think i'm, I'm not looking at another man eating a hot dog and being like oh my stomach like and just, that's yeah, just not like, this is not where my mind goes you know what i'm saying yeah. yeah if you think about it why is he picturing a penis as opposed to a hot dog right right when and that's that's how i look at it <laughs> but still no it was just when he made that example though because we all have that thought and we all have make that joke well i didn't think about it somebody else was saying something about it so that's what I'm, made me think about it joke. 
I've okay. heard it before though. But I yeah. Ham, you live upstate, like we live in New York. It's like hot dogs everywhere. You see people eating hot dogs all the time and they like gobble, 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 gobble. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You know what I'm saying? I mean they're eating it. It's food. I know, but the gobbles, you ain't had yeah, to. Yeah, the gobble. Okay, okay. I'm okay, I'm being extra. Okay, I'm being extra. But they do eat it. Like they ain't like taking they yeah. ain't like taking a little, you know, <laughs> little chipmunk bite, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but even think about social media, for instance, right? Like, I can go on, like, Shade Room, or I can go on, like, Spiritual World, some of these bigger uh, uh, social media platforms, right? Mm -hmm. And say they they put a clip on there of a, of a man. I promise you, depending on what he's doing or how he moves, whatever, they're going to they gonna throw the gay label on him all off rip, right? And he may not even be gay or nothing at all, right? But they would yeah. throw that label on him because he may be emotional or he may be, um, I don't know, he may go off on a woman. And it could be any little thing. Mm -hmm. and he's like, oh, the way he's saying. So, yeah, he's giving, he giving, giving gay vibes, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? All right, so, so let, let me ask a question real quick. So mm -hmm. yes and no, right? So, Kenny, there is such a thing as a toxic masculinity? Yeah. Same question, Adrian. Yeah. Nah, there's no such thing. Corey? Yes. E. Yes. Terrence. Yeah. Russ. Yes. Chief. Yes. P. Yeah. There is such a thing. Yeah, there is. To a certain, to a certain point. Six. Corn. You already. I said. I already said. Yeah. Watch, watch. Hey, hey, Playboy. Off me, nigga. Um. Set. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I just, as I'm assessing it, it's just like men being men, how we used to be men. I feel like is considered toxic in this day and age. Um, and I just don't see our culture overall doing better. Uh, I see us doing worse. Families, crime, uh, where we are on the totem pole. Um, the nuclear family is almost lost. We accept everything in our culture. So if those things are toxic, I can understand why somebody could say that, but I just don't see us improving. Hey, so Ham, you ask you ask Corey to define or give an example of toxic masculinity. Okay. You referred, you just referenced men from our past. Mm -hmm. And and could you like I'm I'm just curious to know what were they doing then that is so not acceptable now that makes that would be defined as toxic? Like give that example. Yeah, so the men of yesteryear, you know, like mm -hmm. the name, the things I was naming as I was going through when I was okay. giving, when I gave the example of my son, like with, with uh, that happened. Mm -hmm. So like being stoic, being tough, being strong, working your, working your, working yourself to the bone, right? All dad needed is a beer in the truck, right? <laughs> Nobody never checked on dad. Dad would, and dad probably died earlier too, but that was his role and responsibility. Um, okay. So when we had that and we were functioning in that. I don't know if it's good, bad, or indifferent, but we seem to be doing better as a people. Families, things of that nature. And I know people people will cite the color purple um, narrative, right? People will go say, well, if you see the color purple, they act as though everybody was going through that. But that's not proven. It's purely speculative. And those families did stay together, regardless if the woman was looking past something or whatever the case was. The fact was the family was still the family back then. Why were they? Why were the women staying, Pam? Uh, I think I think you're going to say because they weren't working, so they needed the provisions, right? But now women work, so now they have more options. That is the what what people say back. I'm just telling. I wasn't she, going to say that. You can't read my mind. You're not Miss Cleo. That's, that's what you should have been saying. So, mm -hmm. what Chief Chief? I'm, but I'm, when I'm talking to Chief, I'm just telling them how it was back then, so on and so forth. So those are the traits. Okay. Yeah. Or Even a baby, <laughs> baby disagree. Baby was saying, yeah, 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 yeah. like that. So, 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 Ham, you were saying that we we're better now, or you saying we were better then? We were better then. Okay, you say we we're better then because the family yeah. stayed together. Families, but even but even us being in poverty in the same rates, us leaning on the government, oh, right? Stuff. Us not having crack and 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 and, and uh, gangster rap and all that. We didn't have all that. If you look at the pictures of men in the past, there was no sagging pants. Even our percept, how we were perceived, was different. So I'm just leaning on that. That's all. You know, I just, uh, Corey, you ain't been able to think all night, babe boy. 
Nah, man. I've been trying to get you know it's, ten, it's a large panel. I want to give everybody an opportunity to speak, man. I ain't want to hog the. Uh, nah, go, go ahead, Corey. You, you you was the first one to talk, so it's about it's time yeah. now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guard I'm gonna give Corey the final thought on this one, and then I'm gonna jump to that this next topic because I do want to get some ladies up here. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I would just say some of the uh, once Adrian started describing what it is to be a man, then I realized more what the toxic masculinity is like. Um, we don't like who, who's to define what masculine uh being a man is like uh, some of those things that he labeled like being a man like that in and of itself is toxic like you don't have to be tough to be a man you don't have to do any of this stuff to be a man right so but when you when you push that on people like that that can be toxic uh, so so that's that's my final thought i didn't say that though hemp said that I said assertive and like leadership and stuff like that. Yeah, leadership, even leadership, right? You don't have to be a, a man no, or absolutely. a leader. You absolutely, have a, you have to be a leader. No, as a man. Absolutely. Lead what? Why? What do you mean? Why do you have to be a leader? Why not? You, you got to be the head of your household to the start, number one. You got to be the head of your household. What, what, what if, you got to lead your household. You got to lead your family. Just because you got a penis don't mean you best suited to lead. I didn't say you have to be best suited, but you should be a leader in conduct and how you conduct yourself just as a man. What it doesn't does mean, mean people got to follow you, but you lead in how you treat people. You lead in your <laughs> presence. You protect people. Like, So you don't think as a man you should be a leader? Got to wait. That's part of manhood? Got to wait. I'm saying your wife might be better suited for leader than you are, and then she. No, 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 that, no, no, no. I, I have, have a one leader question. One and are you one. saying that as a man you don't need to be a leader? You don't have to be no. That's not. That's not uh, inherently. There are plenty of men. That Put them in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's, know about that. It's, 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 I probably don't go that far. It sounds good, but there are plenty of men that's not leading anyone. Like, but here's the. But that, right, right, right. But to be a leader, it's so many different ways you can do that. You know what I'm saying? You can lead by example, how you move, how you control your emotions, how you provide for yourself, how you show up in the community. There's so many different ways. To lead, you want to stick, you stick the leader label on any action you do, basically. But all right, I guess then you're a leader. That's I'm what it is. Nigga, like I took out the trash. I'm a leader. I don't know. Like, <laughs> what you say, <laughs> you a what is. What'd you say, Russ? You can be a leader of one. So just as long as you lead, no one's following you. Right. So like, you just you <laughs> gave an example. You are, you know, leading by example. You are taking care of yourself. So it doesn't matter if no one's, you know, viewing you or anything. I, I just, I hear leader, I automatically go to, it's got to be followers as well. But um, exactly, you, you saying you could be a leader of one, and if that's the case, then I do agree with you. Then every, every man should be a leader then, if that's the case. I guess. Hmm. I don't think you could be a leader without followers, but uh, that's my perspective. Hmm. Interesting, 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 man. <laughs> Do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend if you are watching. We appreciate y'all. We got super chat, super like, but you could just hit the like button. That helps the channel, friend. And we out.